and a pleasant good Monday morning. It's the ninth day of May. Well, we have some N NBA news. Um, Nikola Jokic just won the second straight NBA MVP award. Even though Denver lost in the first round of Golden State, I thought he did great. And Mike Brown has just been announced as a new head coach of the Sacramento Kings, also known as the King, uh, Queens. But yes, Mike Brown will start working there at, as soon as the playoff run is over for Golden State. And I thought Mike Brown did a great job as the assistant coach of the Warriors. And uh, yeah, well, Lakers are still looking for their coach right now. So at least Mike Brown's not coming back. He already served his tenure as Laker coach. And he was also coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And um, well, a happy birthday is going out to Billy Joel and to Tamiya and to uh, Aaron Harang. Also, a happy birthday to Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn, the late Tony Gwynn, eight-time batting champion, 15-time All-Star, won a couple of National League pennants, had well over 3,000 hits in his career, and yes, he was very hard to strike out. <clears throat> yeah. And yes, it is a uh, beautiful morning out with clear skies. It was only 68 yesterday. It's going to be cool this week. It's going to be nice on Wednesday and Thursday, though. But then on Friday, it heats up again. Then it's going to be close to 90 Saturday and Sunday. And um, also a happy birthday to Prince Fielder as well. Yeah, the son of Cecil Fielder. Yeah, his, his career was cut short due to injury. Yeah, Prince Fielder. And to Doug Christie as well. And to Rosario Dawson. But yes, this uh, after coming off a sweep over the Chicago Cubs, the Dodgers head to Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates, which are not so popular either. So let's let's keep the winning streak going. Meanwhile, the Angels with that huge comeback win yesterday over the Nationals in the bottom of the ninth with two out. Um, they take two out of three over the Nats and then they host the Tampa Bay Rays for three. Yeah, the Angels barely dodged a bullet because Houston has won seven in a row. But yeah, let's hope Houston starts losing again. Yeah. Well, we had to settle for a split up in San Francisco as the Giants beat the Cardinals. And um, yeah, Mike Stremski hit a home run in the sixth inning yesterday into McCovey Cove, making it the 93rd splash hit in history. Yeah. So that's another reason why the Giants moved downtown near the China Basin. Yeah. Well, uh, also yesterday, the LA Kings are alive as they shut out the Oilers 4 nothing. So that series is tied 2-2. Two, two, two. And then uh, yesterday, the Sixers and the Mavericks have evened their series at two games apiece. So the home team has dominated that series in both of them. Meanwhile, today it's going to be the Celtics against the Bucks for game four. We'll see if Milwaukee could go up 3-1. Or the Celtics tie 2-2, but Golden State also has a shot of going up 3-1 over the uh, Grizzlies, who are going to be without J John Morant because of a knee injury. So, yeah, that's, that's a big blow for the Grizz. But, yeah, the Warriors have yet to lose a game at home in the postseason as well. But, yeah. I would love to see the Bucks win today and go up 3-1 on the Celtics. Boston sucks. Boston sucks. Yeah, that would be sweet if the 
if the Celtics go down 3-1. And, uh, yeah, well, well, there you have it, folks. Meanwhile, enjoy your rest of your Monday. I'll catch you later. Peace.